I'm Paul Dighton and I was the Chief Executive Officer of the London Organising Committee of the Olympic Games and Paralympic Games for seven years. Well, event delivery really is all about thinking through the experiences you want to give all the different client groups who come to the event. You know, in our case, the Olympic Games, we were incredibly focused on the athletes because we felt if everything was right for the athletes, that would cascade right down through all the other groups. Of course, one of the biggest challenges of the Games is simply its scale. I mean, you're talking about a workforce of really close to a quarter of a million, 70,000 volunteers, about 8,000 in Locog itself, and then more than 100,000 contractors. So a huge number of people to manage. We have something like 35 competition venues to manage. You know, when you have a normal sporting event, you typically have one. You know, you're talking about 10 million uh, ticket sales across the Olympic Games, Paralympic Games. That's a lot of spectators over... Uh, over a few weeks of sport. Over 20,000 accredited journalists, both broadcast and press. You know, it just goes on and on. Each, you know, thing you do, you're testing the resources of your city and your country to their ultimate, because, you know, you normally have to manufacture the capacity in order to deal with the, the demand you have to cope with. Well, I think, we, you know, what we got with uh, the British companies who worked with us was firstly an absolute buy into our vision. They wanted to be part of it, and it was a great showcase for their business. And their own people saw that and responded in the same way. So it was very inspirational for their own companies, um, you know, because they wanted to make a contribution. They wanted to develop their, their businesses. So that was absolutely uh, critical all the way through. And what we found out was... You know, look, we have great businesses, you know, across many different sectors. They're at the cutting edge of many technologies. And, you know, you put them on a project, you give them very clear direction about what you need to deliver, and they do. If I really think what I'm proudest of, I, I, you know, I remember all the wonderful compliments that the games got at games time. It's like, weren't the games makers fantastic? You know, I didn't believe that we could do that. Weren't the venues beautiful? You had these new ones, but you also used these bits to show off the city. Oh, I didn't realize the transport system. Oh, it worked. And, and all the things people were bouncing back to me as, as if it had all happened, you know, by accident or, or spontaneously. These were all the things that for seven years we'd been executing against the plan you know those were all the things we knew would make it great so day in day out our whole organization have been saying how do we cause that to happen so what was magical for me was to hear everybody who came to the game saying wasn't that great wasn't that great and it was it, that was all the product of seven years of extraordinarily hard work from uh, from right across the team I mean, for London, for the people of the UK, the summer of uh, 2012 was really quite extraordinary. It's a summer all of us will remember. If you get an opportunity to be able to showcase your city, showcase your country, put on an event which really allows you to welcome the world and show the best of what you've got, uh, it really is the most uh, extraordinary platform, which isn't just about the event, it's about all the other opportunities uh, that you can exploit with the eyes of the world upon you, it really does require everybody uh, to play their A game. And that's exactly what we got out of UK PLC and all the companies who delivered because you're doing something so big which so many people are interested in and which makes you uh, the focus of the world's attention.